Hello everybody, happy 10 year anniversary! Welcome back to, uh, welcome back, welcome to the start I should say rather, of the FTC Philips Interactive Media LP, uh, produced by Rareware. We're very happy to be here today. Um, no, today, November 14th, 2016, is the 10 year anniversary of uh, every LP's favorite game. Sonic 06 was released in the American markets. And so we thought we'd do, uh, we'd finally do a terrible, terrible LP, but uh, stop it being the same as every other LP you'll see online where we do Sonic Story, and then Shadow Story, and then Silver Story. Now to see it through three hours of load times, we thought we'd take a page of uh, the old Smoothies handbook. And, That's Sonic uh, Movies. Uh, Oh yeah, trademark, uh, so the Sonic Movies playbook, and you can't do this in this game, <laughs> fuck you all six. Um, we are going to be playing through this game in, in its chronological story order. Um, so if anyone who saw uh, the Sonic Movies 06 movie, it's essentially going to be like that, only with more levels and more... I forget, Smoothies, do you include the uh, hub boards in this? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, my favorite parts. Ooh, hub worlds. It's like that, only it's, it's going to be it's going to be six times longer, so uh, strap in everyone. <laughs> It's gonna be... So who all do we have here today? We have me, the fake FDA. Oh, we have me, Mikono's fan. It's movies. You have me, Tr Tron John, and why are you guys making me do this? Because you can't do this either. But, but Steven, you shouldn't, you shouldn't have said that because TJ doesn't... TJ hasn't played this game. So TJ knows nothing about it, other than it's the best game ever made. He's I mean, so far, I, I like what I see. Great graphics, um, good gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting story. I hate you. Well, I, I, I... Uh, for, for some reason, I was about to say, I hate you, Steven, and I don't know why. I think we all know why. Freudian slip. We gotta come clean. We have a leaked copy of Sonic Resistance. This is the first level. The, this is it. <laughs> It's an, is it another exclusive? Yep. They've just they've just taken all the unsold copies of 06 <laughs> and slapped it into a new case. <laughs> they ported it to the PS4. <laughs> Gareth, do you really think that they, that Sega would um, be willing to put up that amount of money? They probably just slapped a sticker. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 because they already released a trailer featuring Classic Sonic in Sonic's version of Classic City, they just stuck in a pixel of Classic Sonic in the background. Oh, there he is! I love that you said The trailer Classic wasn't City, a lie. By the way. Classic <laughs> City. That's my favorite level. Uh, it's my favorite. You know, and we, we've all said this, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we've all said that, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, you know what? One thing I will say about 06, the achievement ranking was fucking perfection in this game. <laughs> You know, it's it, it's a joke that we've all made before, but uh, what was this city called before it was engulfed in flames and destruction? Was it always called Crisis City? Uh, sure. It was Soliana, okay. right? Oh, yeah, yeah. It that's is, that's what I always inferred, that this is like 200, however many years in the future Soliana, like, really built up. Oh. But you don't change the name of something what's, just because it got destroyed. What's Soliana? I don't know. Great! <laughs> So, so uh, Smoothies, as the recorder of this footage, uh, good sir, why don't you uh, explain the process of why you decided to play this? Um, well, I was, we were all like, uh, what game should we, what should we put on our channel next? That was like, oh, 10th anniversary's coming up. So, <laughs> then you were like, 10th anniversary okay, of what? Th this game. Oh, <laughs> Sonic Riders! <laughs> and, um... Before I get into that, I want to show you guys some pro strats right here. Oh! Is oh. uh, you can put up these platforms here. You don't need them. <laughs> oh, MBMB, proud of you, my friend. I didn't know you were so good what? at this game, Steve. That's that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great graphic of Finn the Human. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, that guy. <laughs> Moral. TJ, just go <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> that was a picture uh, of a dog. <laughs> fucking. Oh, I forgot how the song went. <laughs> <laughs> We're Finn the Human and Finn the Human. The fun will never end. So. Except after season 9. TJ. Good old big you know, guy. You've never played this game? Why not? No. <laughs> because I, I value my life. I like Blaze was just lying down there, by the oh, way. Oh, yeah, Blaze died. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
This is the bad future. I don't even know who Blaze is. <laughs> what? Well, she's Blaze the human. Blaze. <laughs> Oh yeah, guess Tita. Oh yes, you have Tita. You play. You played Generations. You fool. Yeah, I didn't know who Blaze was. I was just like, oh, there's a cat now. <laughs> <laughs> there's a cat now. It's a Sonic game in a nutshell. Oh, there's a cat now. Oh, does this game? Does this game have like that gameplay from like um, Prince of Persia, where you can rewind and stuff? <laughs> is that part of uh, is that part of his powers? Yes. Oh, Steven, yes. do you go to the Child Garden in this Sonic Adventure 3 playthrough? Please tell me you do. Um, I, I never, I, I couldn't find a single Chow key in this whole game. Oh, you didn't look hard enough. So, yeah. What a casual. Even I know where the Chow Garden is. No, it's fine. All the, all the Chow went to space, you fools. Don't you watch the movies? <laughs> Fuck, that's right. I can imagine the Chow's up in space just looking down on the Earth right now on fire. If he has to concentrate to bring those up, what what's what's keeping them from falling right now? Intense willpower. Oh shit, fam! <laughs> oh, God. Wow, please, Sega please tell me, please tell me, Steven, you keep that up for the entire game so we get this like one million gamer points. Uh, yeah. Oh lord. Sega really nice. went all out here. Yeah. The official seal of quality. It's final debut. This is a uh, girl Sonic. You'll even notice that her shoes are the same, like, fashion as Sonic's shoes. The future is really kind to Amy. <laughs> <laughs> I like how awkward this game is that even jumping down that hole looks like a fucking nightmare <laughs> for the control. <laughs> yeah, Steven, this was your first time in Silver Story, right? This is my first time playing in Silver. I, I, every time I go to this game, I, um, I play a Sonic just because... Well, you know that it's called Sonic the Hedgehog. Well, the, Sonic's like the most fun character to play as. Well, except for Blaze. Okay. Well, he knows you're watching Sonic 06. He's trying to save you. <laughs> Is that what happens in the future? All the rings just come out, like at once. <laughs> yes. That that only happens in the future, right? That's not the whole game. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> I was really worried there for a second. Radical. So, TJ, do you have like an assumption of how uh, Silver's powers work by just by watching? Um, I mean, I'm familiar with the comic version. The comic version? He's, he's kind. Of, he's kind of like a time traveler, I guess. Silver the Hedgehog is a time traveler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was in the comic books, thing. the ones you don't read. I don't read the comic books. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, but she okay. she wouldn't stop spinning. There was no way to make her stop. <laughs> so there you go. Until you put that meme in, is that what what helped? Yep. <laughs> did, you, did you press the meme button? <laughs> it's one of the most <laughs> underappreciated advances Sonic 06 brought to the series was the meme button. Nobody ever uses it. Every other LP you watch, nobody presses the meme button. <laughs> I imagine you need like a special controller, just a big red button in the middle. <laughs> and you have to just, you have to palm it, you can't just press it. It's like those turbo controllers just with memes, I got you. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's... Oh, I hope you get those Gamergate points, Steven. Uh, nope. I'm not good enough to get that one. Oh, oh no. Sorry. But, um, don't worry, we'll, we'll... Looks like this should be scrapped. That's like, that, that one over there is like an extra one. Like, you don't need that one. But the ones that I get are the ones that you need. So... Steven, why are you running towards the giant fire tornado? You're supposed oh. to be running away from it. <gasps> God. <laughs> why are you doing this? <laughs> why not? Sega really didn't um, uh, edit this well. Yeah, that's right. They didn't ever. Well, Sega started Gamergate. They're, they're the reason uh, why... Oh, <laughs> the reason why uh, game journalism has uh, gotten so good recently. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'll never be able to look at the comments of this video. <gasps> this is amazing. Oh, by the way, I want to play this game. Buildings don't just fall over and retain their shape like trees. <laughs> no, they're like dominoes, Steven. They just... You don't know that. You ever played Jenga? Buildings fall apart like that. No, they don't. Sonic 06 clearly needs to use the Jenga engine. 
Steven, I've been to a college. I think I know a thing or two. <laughs> I've been to one? Have you attended one? <laughs> I've seen what they look like. I went to the grass outside a college once. I know what happens when buildings fall over. Can you, do you guys know where I'm supposed to go? Oh, look. Oh, look. Uh, oh there you go. Yeah, down there. <laughs> Let me guess, something happens Obviously. and the ring gets gets blown away. Oh, no, it's actually the end of the level. No, that, that only ever happens in Generations. Eight and a half minutes. Like Hero Lord. Yeah, first level. What is this, fucking Sonic Heroes? By the way, look, yes. got an S. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> S for silver, I get it. That's a big guy. Man, Zavik's evolved form is fucking insane. <laughs> Yeah, it's Zavix Digivolved for him. Dang it, I was gonna make that joke. Zavix Mega Digivolved too. Mega Kabuterimon. <laughs> <laughs> was there like Super a Super Shocker? Was there a Was there a glove and shoe store that wasn't destroyed? Like, how, how does How does Silver's clothes completely clean? How dare you assume that he wasn't born with them? <laughs> oh right. He just uses his psychic abilities to take the dirt and scuff off. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sonic War, you know. That's fine. That's okay. <laughs> My uncle's name was Iblis. <laughs> <laughs> he was also a giant fire monster. <laughs> he's, he's kind of the black sheep of the family. <laughs> <laughs> he was great at parties, though. He's great at parties, is that what you say, Chris? <laughs> yes. This, this is the problem with, with giant um, enemies as bosses in games like this. They just stand there doing fuck all while you just repeatedly throw things at them. <laughs> I mean, do you realize but how I, much I, energy I, they have to expend just to move? Yeah. This isn't as fun as, as Giant Man in Silver War. Zero out of ten. Best Sonic game ever. <laughs> oh, Steven, this... you broke his jaw, eh? Cool. I'm trying to feed him. <laughs> Open up! Here comes the airplane. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be great if one of these things was an airplane. You could throw him. <laughs> that tornado's carrying an airplane. That sounds like a bad sci-fi, uh, sci-fi channel, like, daytime movie. <laughs> <laughs> what, that tornado's carrying an airplane? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it does. Starring Tara Reid. The, the, only, the only one of those that I ever watched was a movie called Atomic Tornado. And it was about a tornado that attacked a, uh... <laughs> oh, look at the camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus. That was, a, that was a heavy... A hardcore attack from Iblis. It's ridiculous. Oh, he knocked his hat off. <laughs> oh, he can't find it. I like how Atomic Tornado sounds like a Mega Man power up. Atomic Tornado! Tornado! Um, Iblis, uh, I'm over here. My eyes are up here, Iblis, excuse me. <laughs> He's just like, I'm so tired. <laughs> I punch into the clock and I break buildings all day. I go home to an angry wife. <laughs> I just want to play saxophone. <laughs> <laughs> she just plays saxophone. <laughs> uh, I'm so glad this Sonic the Hedgehog game has the true Sonic spirit. Just look at this. This is what it's all about. This is what the SA3 fans want more of this. Eggman really let himself go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they said the redesign was weird for this game. I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> So Steven, what do you what do you think? Is you're a big uh, you're you're big into character design and such. What do you think of his design? Terrible. Yep. There you go. Although to be fair, it's it's not any worse or. <laughs> it's not any worse or better than Chaos. You shut your mouth. I love Chaos's design. Chaos one and 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 Chaos zero one and two are fine. Everything else is bad. 
So wait. What, what's wrong with perfect chaos? Yeah, it's perfect, Stephen. Did he give the thumbs up? He, sh he should have given the thumbs <laughs> up, so, like in T2. I know now why you cry. <laughs> so from everything I've gathered about this game, from other videos and stuff, that's the thing that you have to defeat, so we're done here, right? <laughs> yes. I like how you gave yourself a better end rank, Stephen. <laughs> It's gotta be got a perfect playthrough, you know. It is. It's a. It is a perfect playthrough. There's all S's. <laughs> so. like That's what FTCR brings you, baby. All DS's. <laughs> we have to go and buy the three DS's, Morty. Fuck this awful texture. Oh God. Then tell me what we These graphics do. are so lifelike. Super's <laughs> asking the brick wall. Please tell me how can we defeat this? <laughs> so we already have. Wait, two, know, we already have two characters we don't know anything about. Let's introduce another, why not? <laughs> oh, it's Shadow! Just as a flower comes from, Just as a, flower oh. comes from a seed, comes or a chicken from comes from an egg, <laughs> everything has an origin. <laughs> uh, hold up. No, I don't know about <laughs> Do a little bit of fact checking <laughs> Two flowers! <laughs> Two flowers have gender! I'm fact checking! Okay. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> Holy shit. Please be sure to visit, visit enchantedwarning.com. Thank you. They're sponsoring this video. Everything have an origin. Oh, Yahoo Answers. There you go. Go to the Reddit page. <laughs> Yes, it's only logic. <laughs> well, okay. Yeah, fuck me. Ah, uh, it's good. <laughs> it's good. I was just going to shit on that for being bad anime writing, but Stephen, thank you for fact checking. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm just making sure. If only Steve, Stephen, if only, if only you worked on the uh, presidential debates, maybe we get somewhere. Yo, is this guy Ken Bone? <laughs> oh God. No, I made a timely reference. What? Oh God, is he oh looking Lord. into my soul? <laughs> uh, you know what? I will say one of uh, one of the only things this game gets kind of right. I am. I do kind of like Mephiles. His his this is kind of this is literally just a recolor with with no movable mouth. But I think I'm a big fan. I, I'm a big fan of his theme. I think it's very creepy, like the piano. It's very and his his actual design when he. Turns into, into he upgrades the crystal. You know, I never fucking noticed that there's Sega stickers on those things behind se um, silver. Huh. Oh, dear. I never noticed that before. So if we're to believe the conspiracy theorists were true when they said that Sega was the downfall <laughs> of humanity. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I, I'm a fan, I'm a fan of of Iblis, not so much um, the storyline in general. <laughs> You mean Mephiles? Yeah, that's the one. What, what'd I say? Iblis. Iblis. They're the same. They're the same thing. Yeah. They're practically the same. Person. Is that a spoiler? <laughs> no. Okay, good. Princess Elise dead confirmed and good. Because I am fully invested in this story so far. <laughs> oh, thanks. Can I keep this? Wow, that was really easy compared to the rest of the series. This, this is this is the big problem of Sonic's model. He always looks angry for no reason. Yeah, <laughs> he just always looks like he wants to murder people. You mean he doesn't? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> now, do you, now, of course, this we got Blaze the Cat here, who in this timeline is from the future. But in the Rush series, she's from an alternate dimension. So do you think her line of Blue Hedgehog is a way to subtly imply that she remembers Sonic? Or do they think that the writer of this game was just like, yeah, I don't know, okay. The second option, definitely. Yeah. Uh, a combination of both. <laughs> oh, this looks beautiful. <gasps> That's some good, good lens flare, that was. I think that this story wasn't originally going to be for a Sonic game. I mean, there's no way to there's no, no way, way to prove that, but no, I think this fits perfectly. Sense. Well, Silver wasn't like isn't that what they say like Silver was gonna have his own game, but then Sega like yeah, let's just put him in Sonic. His gameplay was um, Sonic Team was making some like first person shooter kind of game with like telekinesis powers. Hmm. So I think they took some of those ideas. I don't know about the story though. Which I know in terms of Silver, uh, originally Silver he was it was a different character. He was called Venice the Mink. 
And then oh, yeah. reportedly they went through over 150 different designs for Silver and they yeah, ended up with a marijuana plant for his head. Future. Good job, Sega. I think I think this fits perfectly into the timeline so <laughs> that... You only played seven Sonic games, TJ. No, no, shut no, your just face. hear me out. I think, <laughs> I think at the end of this, you go into Sonic the Hedgehog A Link to the Past and then... Oh um, if Sonic fails... If Sonic fails, Sonic 06. Oh, wait. <laughs> a link between worlds. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> <Aye>. Reproach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gravy. By the way, this, this, map, mean? this map is huge. Oh, my gosh. There's, way too there's big. nothing in it. Hey, there's some springs and a guy talking about rib roast. What more do you want? Oh, shit, guys. Rib roast. Cut me up. <laughs> Poor Aunt May. Oh god. Uncle Ben. Yeah. This 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 LP is gonna be nothing but memes. Just full warning you. So if you like that, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to so find the computer room on YouTube.com. Baby. Subscribe. 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 <laughs> Subscribe, you scribe. How do you like this innovative waiting gameplay, Stephen? <laughs> I, I, yeah. I would have loved it. I would have loved it if in the opening cutscene they showed Silver flying like this. <laughs> he flies for like five feet, has to stop for ten seconds, flies five more feet. <laughs> Please don't come back to part two, bye. Bye. <laughs>